beam too, so... Bayonetta's Zeus attempts is kind of interesting. I don't see how Bayonetta initiates, like, at all. Against yeah. somebody with such high mobility, such amazing keep away options, you have somebody with maybe some of the most telegraphed approach tools uh, in the whole game. Yeah, and I think to compensate for that, Bayonetta's gonna have to use her unique air options to be one, like, to try and catch CSS, which not yeah. most characters can do, but I think Bayonetta has some things going for her to where they, um, Bayonetta can, like, maybe stuff out a flip kick. Stuff out one is yes high him. jumps. That was so cute. Yeah, and that, that was a very cute way to start this match. Listen, I'm telling you, one of these days I'm gonna start off the match just by kissing my opponent, like aggressively making yeah. out on shoot. And it, it will. I have like an agreement with a few people. No, that'd be like so funny if we did that. Like, yeah, yeah, bro, that'd be that'd be, that'd be like hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That being said, <laughs> game of one between these two players. Uh, Jazzy really doing a great job of breaking space, able to get a couple of uppies in a row. But look at that! Look at that DI! Look at that SDI! Yeah. Oh. Bankai's been around since Smash 4. Um, I'm sure he knows the, the ins and outs of DI and Bayo. I don't. I just pick a new action and I stick to it. I'm like, damn, my SDI is nice. Uh, it, it honestly kind of works. As long as you're mixing it up, it, it's it's pretty solid. Yeah. But, oh, but that being said, Jazzy has been yeah. doing such a good job this game already. Look at the percent difference. A little bit less than what yeah. it was before, but still look at the percent difference. Yeah, and that's the thing with um, Bayo mains is they're aware you can SDI out of the combo, so it's not a matter of getting a true combo, but following up on the pressure once you yep. get out. Yeah, because surely you can technically always SDI and get neutral air dodge. Bayonetta's can track you. You don't always have the time to be immediately thinking about your next defensive option either. Like just because of the, you know, basis of how high pressure scenarios function. That being said, Bankai trying to go for a bit of a high recovery there. I love the fact that Jazzy was just like, hey, I know you're going to flip kick your ZSS. But... Oh no. Ooh. That could have been probably an F smash, but uh Yeah, Bankai not choosing to really uh you know continue on there. That being said, Jazzy is gonna be the first one to take this and honestly, if you bail and you have a lead, you can play from across the stage, sitting in shield, she camps so hard. Yeah, it is really tough to catch her. Granted, ZSS is one of those characters that have maybe the like the mobility to be able to catch a character as slippery slippery as Bayonetta, but still. Jazzy, I know they say that they like playing really campy, and they try yeah. to, so I think they're going to try to hold on to mm -hmm. this as long as they can. Yeah, right now, Bonka just trying to find that big in, really going for a lot of neutral beasts, maybe trying to find an up out of it, not able to punish, um, you know, Jazzy just, you know, the diagonal down ABK. That hit? Yeah, that, that was, hit? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty what? solid down tilt. That move is massive! Okay, Jazzy's, Jazzy's spacing of the tail today is so on point, but one play landing is going to spell the end of the stock. Yeah, and that's the thing with Bayo is still has some really laggy landings in Bankai. That side B is actually going to be really good for catching those landings. It's big and it's active. Yeah. So even if you like undershoot or overshoot slightly, just the nature of side B is like, hey, I got you, don't worry about it. And really good positioning there from Bankai of catching the downwards. Oh, and that side B again. I was going to say, uh, good positioning, but he then took that positioning and made a whole stock out of it. So. Yeah, so Bankai really, really quickly amassing a bit of a lead for himself. Jazzy going to retort with a bit of damage for themselves, but trying to catch a dash in, which honestly, I didn't mind at all. I felt like that was an excellent place to try to go for a, a dash read with F-Smash. Bankai, look at this recovery mix. Jazzy had the right idea, but just slightly dropping the execution of the punish. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, um, that F smash read because it's really important that you don't let GSS get a lead. Same way you don't want Bayonetta to get a lead. These characters can both camp extremely well. So look at the way that Bankai is pressuring with his jumps. Anyone. He knows that if he gets like a falling zero neutral, this could kill. Like this, this can f lead up into a kill. But I don't believe that was the right hit of neutral uh, that he was looking for. Yeah, and jazzy has got to be aware of that, that CSS wants one of those, like, landing airs, landing nares, something to get their combo game initiated. So if Jazzy's aware that Bankai's fishing for it, you can then stuff it out. But yep. if not, you're going to be taking a lot of percent or just die. Like, really good hit with up under the platform, just stopping Bankai's attempt to find a two-frame there. Wow, what a confident dash in. So that was, that was honestly really, really good because just Jazzy was able to get under and around him before uh, he was able to get his hitbox out a little bit too low. Oh my. And this is, this is tense now. 
Tessie being so patient from the ledge. Bankai tries to uh, cover like a traditional option, like maybe a goal in or another neutral get up, but Jesse just staying as ambiguous as possible, not trying to push uh, the way into this one. Yeah, and I like Jazzy's choice to just get out of there and get back to mid stage rather than play around with CSS on ledge. Ooh, I was wondering if that could be a jump there. Jazzy keeps on positioning themselves on the ground to maybe catch like Bankai's landing. And they have the right idea, but you just have to remember how much oh, mobility CSS has, no, no, and that's no, no, gonna no. be the flip kick F smash. That Oof. is that is a tough way to lose because Jazzy was playing really well that entire oh, game. Yeah. It, it was really, I think, what um, was so rough was getting nared at. I want to say like 50 to si like 40 to 60, somewhere around there, pretty low percent, and dying from it, and then you still make it competitive. It's it's rough because like yeah, you you, you feel like you were so close to closing that out. So mm -hmm. I I think Jazzy, if they um if they're being honest with themselves like they played really good that game and they just had to avoid like those small landing options from zss that can kill you at any percent and so i think i think jazzy shouldn't be too uh too mad about that game that's sometimes the cushion of being able just to play a top two right like yeah. with, with bankai just <laughs> It really comes down to the fact that Bankai was able to much more comfortable closeout landings and maybe has some easier win conditions than Bayonetta. Because I feel like at a certain point, Bayonetta either is like, hey, I'm fishing for a witch time, I'm gonna try to lead a bad, like, you know, movement option with F smash, or I'm gonna get, like, an up tilt after a bit of pressure, right? So it's not easy to find those kills. Yeah, and I wonder if Bankai kind of realized they got a little bit we got like a fortunate kill that game and yeah. maybe he's thinking okay i'm more confident in my uh, pt right now to close it out mm -hmm. yeah just by having by playing pt i feel like you have a much more consistent low percent to mid percent advantage state you'll be able to put a lot more damage quickly and also honestly ivy sword is a character that plays off of catching landings finding kills that way that was what bankai was able to make a lot of use of in the last set i feel like it's going to be even more so this time around Oh my. Ooh, Chazzy trying to get the sneakiest bear. Yeah. Bankai was like, yo, I am I am flame blitzing to get back onto stage if that's that. He was he was really going for it. Um but yeah, now just probably going to Ooh. I'm not sure if that up beat like above the ledge was intentional because Jazzy was already down there with him. Not sure why he didn't like immediately snap. Oh, um, do you know if Bankai favors one of the three by any chance or is or is um they they pretty they're pretty even with them. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you. It's been a while since I saw the the Bankizi Pokemon trainer, so. Yeah, I'm just thinking because um I saw Quid versus Amaryllis uh, pretty recently. Quid did yeah. very well going almost exclusively Squirtle, and I think that's definitely really um, a good idea because Squir Squirtle is such a small, slippery like but also fast character that it just seems so difficult for Bayonetta to catch well, him. Well, think about it this way also. A lot of our Bayonetta also amazing got yeah, smashed on the really ledge clever. Uh, because like Bayonetta has a really tough time snapping immediately, but um, I feel like Squirtle is a character that relies mostly on grounded, like a lot of run and jump, so they always run before they then uh, go into jumps, right? That's where Squirtle excels most, has a lot of ground mobility, and then usually has jump-ins from short hop in a position that Bayonetta can't ABK it on reaction. I feel like a lot of what Bayonetta's game plan is, is like seeing, oh, that's a bad jump at mid-range, I am ABKing you through this one. Uh, and, and Squirtle doesn't really let you have that as easily. Yeah, but... Regardless, Jazzy really just did amazing call outs again and again against Bankai Squirtle right there. Jazzy had the right idea to back off a little bit and try to cover roll, but they didn't get in place in time to be able to find back here. Bankai missing up with the first up here, still finds another back here. Um, damn. Ooh, what a grab. What and a this, grab indeed. This could be scary. Ivy can close the stock out a lot sooner than one would think. Oh my. And and there he is. That's exactly what he's doing. <gasps> this is the time to be able to capitalize, but Jazzy just spacing the hitboxes so well. And Bankai was forced into a bit of a re-grab as Jazzy finds that kill with Downing. And that being said, that's going to be Bankai on his last stock. Yeah, and that was really important for Jazzy because Bankai was starting to get a lot of momentum going for him. So to just shut it down and now being able to play like a defensive stock lead again, um, which is, I think, what Jazzy's most comfortable playing. It was really good. That directional air dodge was excellent to be able to avoid the F smash. Like normally, yeah, that would attack chase whatever. Jazzy is out of landing options, but then they had that one little bit of mix left in the tank. So now Jazzy is sitting with a pretty okay lead for himself still, getting a couple of hits, tries to find a reset, has a great idea with punishing the switch, but once again, just not there in time. Oh, and Bankai has been uh, DIing up twice in a row right now, and Jazzy not following. Um. I feel like Jazzy keeps on getting back onto stage, like with the roll. 
you know, every time that bunker is like committing to like a fire yeah. breath. Yeah, roll or like um, jump over after yep. burning kick. Which honestly is a pretty difficult mix because one of those is completely reactable and the other you have to be covering preemptively. But the way that Bonka has been choosing to cover it has always been in a way that Jazzy is like, ah, I'm just going to go instead. But with that being said, right now Bonka just needs to be able to catch a little bit of landing for themselves, get one big hit. Oh. oh, yeah, if you can hold this Ivy advantage, it could be a stop. But Jazzy doing the Bayo classic of ledge jump uh, side B. ABK from ledge, it's, it's, you can't sleep. Yo. You cannot, it's very good. Bonka has the good idea. Amazing spacing, oh. finds a fill, tries to go out there for an upbeat, but then just ends up going right back onto the ledge. Oh, is this it? Oh. Was that a... Wow. Yeah. What? Jazzy, um... Oof. Was that Clean. ABK back here? Yeah, ABK... Uh, that only worked, I think, because it was Charizard in such a huge body that could what? connect. But, um, yeah. Jazzy what? right there, um... Would have lost that Ivy Fair, but DI'd away really well. Um, yeah. And so, because of that, they were able to close out the game. But huh. really scary stuff. I think Bankai, if they choose um, to go trainer again, I think they should play somewhere Ivy Sword. That's really where they got all their percent. Yeah, that's where they got all their low percent combos. So I wanted to actually quickly talk about like this ledge trap for a second. Uh, because I feel like this is what like Jazzy was really getting. Oh, maybe not, maybe not this one. Hold on. Yeah, that was when... Um, that's when the downer came out. Yeah. Right. I, was, I wanted to talk about this ledge trap for a second and like how Jazzy has been choosing a lot of the ledge options, um, especially against Bankai. So right here, Bankai is not in a position where they can cover roll, right? And then Jazzy is just able to roll back on kind of for free each time. But when they're not committing to an option, that's when Jazzy goes for like a really unreactable jump, right? So mm -hmm. um, I feel like even though that's like a pretty like solid flow trait just to have, it's something that can be really easily caught on if you like kind of play grounded and throw out big falling hitboxes to cover both. Yeah, I, I think Bankai, um, oh, yeah, like you're saying, a little bit grounded, a little bit of patience on ledge trapping could go a long way. Yep. Maybe play a bit more reaction heavy, try and position yourself to punish both options. Mm -hmm. Well, right now, Jazzy just has such a good lead once again, just keeps on catching these jumps with a lot of um, dashings and then just getting a witch twist off right from under Bankai. Yeah, and, and ZSS is a character that I feel like. Um, it's hard to get like normal, actually maybe not, but it's hard to get like the super normal like um, Squirtle or Ivy combo, so it's a bit different to rack up percent again, but regardless, Bankai was able to just keep really good aggression, but it did not matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bankai that time able to catch a jump, right now just having Jazzy in such a good position, but that time Bankai is just waiting, just respecting those hitboxes because there's a lot of respect about them sometimes, and wow, I felt it's such a good poking tool. What an up smash. Yeah, that up smash. Catching the ABK towards stage right there. Um, so maybe Bankai is listening to you uh, mm -hmm. through commentary. He's, he's mic'd up. So yeah, those lasers are really, really good because Jazzy can't even like confidently jump in against those since by the time like the end leg would dissipate, Bankai would still be able to get hit input. You know, Jazzy, ABK if you much back here would be able to do it more than enough so as well. Jazzy had the right idea with that weight as Bankai just threw out a really anti early dodge. Yeah, and that may have been the classic ABK from stage, um, but it was pretty smart in how much Jazzy waited for Bankai to mm -hmm. throw out all the, um, his options before doing it. But regardless, um, was that side B that goes to that? Yeah. 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 Oh, getting Bonka off stage once again. The immediate flip kick is going to put him right back to where he wants to be. Oh. Gets the early down, okay. but not strong enough to be able to get it. But I love the attempt nonetheless. Yeah, good attempt. Um, fortunately, Jazzy had all of their jumps still. Mm -hmm. I guess the parry that time around, Bonka was so ready for it, but. That is a difficult move to punish, even if you do get a parry, so... Ugh, just unfortunate. Able to actually up air out Jazzy's combo right there with really good downwards DI. It's so tough to constantly be oh, catching DI as the Bayo player. Jazzy's high recovery mix ups have been so good because I feel like last game they kept on going to the ledge. Now in this game three, they keep on going above the ledge uh, and catching like Bankai sleeping a little bit or just getting one hit. And that's all that they need to stop Bankai from ledge trapping effectively. Has a good idea with trying to like up be there, but Bankai spaced himself pretty uh, pretty safely. Yeah, and when um said preemptively, this is going to be a competitive set and 
is looking to be as competitive as it gets. As Bankai manages to get a good lead right here, taking the stock. It's going to be really important that Jazzy does not take too much before closing this out. Bankai is poking so much with those lasers. I'm, you know, I believe even in that distance, Jazzy could just get like a funny little witch twist. Oh, is that it? Ooh, this is scary. Now ZSS can kill you, even though you're at 49. But now Bankai just trying to find a way to initiate to try to make his lead um, a little bit bigger than it already is, but he's maneuvering himself so safely around the stage. But one poor retreating zone, um, especially if you don't like fast fall with it properly, um, you're going to be hitting that ground a little bit too late. Is that that? Is that it? Yeah, Damn. that much rage. And Bankai closing it out really good final stock right there. Just constantly picking the right option. <laughs> Um, kind of showing that like that download of a player of his prowess would have like of being able to just detect everything um, yeah. and capitalize off it in the final moments.